Hi, I'm Mike Chapter. I'm one of the cooking instructors here at The Wooden Spoon, and I've got a great recipe for tapas today. For this recipe, it's really a classic tapas recipe, and I'm sure you've probably had it when you've been out uh, at a restaurant that serves tapas. It's that wonderful baked goat cheese with a really rich tomato sauce. And it's really easy to do. I've already got some onions sauteing in the pan here. You want uh, one medium onion. I'm gonna just finish chopping this one uh, here. And you don't have to worry about it being too small. A Little bit of texture is fine. Saute those in some olive oil. The other key ingredient to this recipe are the tomatoes. But you're going to need two cans, uh, 28 ounces each. Once the onions have started to soften, you can go ahead and add chopped garlic. OK, the garlic has sauteed for about a minute. Again, we don't want it to get brown. So adjust your heat a little bit lower if it looks like they're starting to get brown. Now it's time to add the tomatoes. I'm actually going to use a slotted spoon to pull the tomatoes out and crush them right with my hand. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to get too much of the tomato sauce from the can. I want mostly the nice flesh and pulp from the tomatoes themselves. While our tomato sauce is bubbling away, simmering and getting nice and thick, we can make the uh, bruschetta or the little crostini that are going to go with our baked goat cheese. So I've got just a piece of baguette. You want to slice these about half an inch thick. I like to slice it a little bit on an angle. It gives you a little prettier presentation. It also gives you a little more surface area so that you can have more room to scoop up the nice warm goat cheese and the tomato sauce. While your goat cheese is baking, we'll, you can finish up the toast. So take a peeled garlic clove and a fork and just stick that piece of garlic right onto the fork. And we're gonna use this to make our garlic toast. So because this has been toasted, uh, the top and bottom are kind of crusty. And so by just rubbing that garlic on both sides, it's gonna break up the piece of garlic and uh, all of the oils and all the flavors are going to soak right into the bread. So that is all set. We'll just wait for our goat cheese to get nice and bubbly and we'll be ready to eat. Look at that, a delicious baked goat cheese with that wonderful rich tomato sauce. It's all bubbly and delicious. We've got our garlic toast to go along with that. And this is a great tapas dish that you can make at home. To get the complete recipe, go to our website at woodenspoonchicago.com. Come in and visit us for a cooking class. 